I'm Matt Nichols at Mr. Maple, and welcome to the Collector's Corner. I'm Tim Nichols. Go to mrmaple.com, shop with us there. We do 10 new trees every Tuesday at 10 a.m. You'll want to be a part of that email. Make sure you like this video. Get active in the comment section. That helps us, but there's a, we've got a great community in our comments. And also make sure you're sharing this video with your gardening friends. Today we're going to be dropping a video on Acer Palmatum Dissectum Lionheart. Lionheart, this is a great red Japanese maple. In the springtime, it can be a little more cherry red, and this tree goes to more of a bronze during the summer. Fall colors are bright oranges to scarlet reds. This is a gorgeous tree. Now, if you're looking for an upright red seriu, look for English lace. This tree isn't gonna be an upright seriu, but it makes some amazing shapes. Think of this as a very fast growing, high arching Japanese maple that's gonna provide you with a lot of height and a lot of texture there in the garden. Typically, it's not uncommon for a lion heart to be six to eight feet, even in 10 years, making it one of the fastest growing red dissectums you can grow. Now, as it gets on that larger size, you do start to get some more arching out branching, making it a beautiful structure and a more open, airy approach for a lace leaf Japanese maple. I mean, if my goal was to get a very large Japanese maple, it would be using something on a red lace leaf, something like an English lace mm -hmm. or a lion heart. Yeah. I mean, those two are some of the fastest growing red lace leaves that's out there. Now, I really like this one because it has more of an open structure to mm -hmm. it. While it does have a slightly cascading habit, it's not nearly as cascading as something like Tamukiyama, or especially not as cascading as Orangeola or Nama right. It's gonna give you more of an appearance of a 100-year-old tree, even in that 10-year period. We often talk about that with Germain's gyration. Think of this almost as a red equivalent for that growth rate, slightly smaller in Germain's gyration, but definitely one of the fastest growing red trees you can be growing for a lace leaf. Now, I like to stake this one to about six feet, then let it weep out from there. You get a good standard straight trunk with this one. It'll almost give it an umbrella-like approach if you stake this one up. Makes a very unique shape that I think is, you know, unique unto only Lionheart. Now, we all the time have people who contact us and they say, I want to get some Japanese maples and put out for part of my retirement fund. Now, <laughs> if you wanted to do that with a Japanese maple, this one would be a fantastic one to do that with if you put lots of them out. But also do check out our video on how much is my Japanese maple worth because that's a whole nother a can of worms as well. This is gonna give you a color pattern very similar to that of Acer Palmatum Dissectum Garnet, but in a much faster, much larger overall habit. Some exceptional crimson to orangey red fall colors on this one. It is a bright scarlet in the fall, but it's gonna be something that really lights up that garden but it's gonna give you more height right away. So if you're needing to add structure to your garden and height, think about Lionheart as a plant that's gonna go out and give you a foundational planting, something that's gonna be a little bit bigger and you can build the rest of your garden around it. Now, Lionheart is accredited to being named and introduced by Duncan and Davies Nursery in New Zealand. We recently just did a whole video on Japanese maples from Australia. You know, maybe some Duncan and Davies introductions or introductions by right. New Zealand might be a future video for us. That'd be a great idea for a future uh, Saturday Showcase, our Saturday Showcase show, basically we dive into collections of Japanese maples in different ways, and maybe we can put that on an upcoming Showcase show. I love this one also for its heat tolerance. This is a tree that's going to work zones 5 through 9. This can go in full sun up to zone 8, uh, so make it exceptionally heat tolerant as well with that larger overall size. You do want to give it protection from the high afternoon sun, especially on that east coast zone 9. Um, West Coast can change the rules a little bit with some of their heat indexes, but that East Coast Zone 9, you're gonna wanna give it protection. The key in siding any of these Japanese maples, especially Lionheart, is gonna be good drainage. So give this one good drainage, and you can go full sun up to Zone 8 then and have spectacular fall color and spring color with this one. It's an excellent growing Japanese maple that's gonna give you that appearance of a very regal older tree at a much younger age. So if you like this type of video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube video on MrMaple.com, our YouTube channel. We put out new videos all the time, especially a lot of cultivar highlights. We've even got some videos out there comparing red lace leaf Japanese maples. So you can go through there and try to figure out which red lace leaf Japanese maple is best for you. And then you can go find them on MrMaple.com because often we have all those different varieties available at almost any one time. Hey, we hope this gives you confidence in gardening with Japanese maples. That's one of our main plans here on this nursery are to make Japanese maples more accessible, more popular, and to share our passion for those with you. So if this is something you're interested in, feel free to check out through the gift shop at mrmaple.com. Go check out our website. We've got an amazing assortment. We're always adding new and exciting trees every single Tuesday at 10. 
Lionheart is something I know that's either just recently relisted when you're seeing this or is listing very soon. So we're going to be bringing this one back. Uh, definitely you can check it out there on mrmaple.com. And let us know in the comments section below future ideas for Collector's Corner videos. If there's cultivar highlights you guys would like to see, let us know in the comments section below. Appreciate y'all watching. Take care. God bless. And have a great day.